Hello everybody, Steven here with Cardboard Coalition, and today I figured I'd bring you a what's in the box for Marvel Champions, the card game, the Mutant Genesis expansion. Now, this is a one to four player game. It says 30 minutes plus, I guess if you die in the first 30 minutes, but 30 minutes plus. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. They don't have an age thing on here, which is, which is a little interesting, but this just came through. My local comic shop, I get all my champion stuff just from my comic shop. All right. Let's go ahead and open it up. I mean, this is not a super thick box, not a super thin box. Not even entirely sure why this is in here, but there's always one of these. We got ourselves our scenario book. It says rule book, but it's mostly the scenarios. It gives you some extra information for the rules. If you're going through the campaign, how you go through it, things like that. All right, but what everybody's really interested in are these bad boys right here. All right, packs and packs and packs of cards. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Start going through some of these cards. Let's start with looking at the two. Well, I'll just set them down here. You guys can see them and we'll go through them Ooh, like that. Let's go ahead and start looking at the two heroes that we get. So we get Colossus and uh, Shadow Cat, Kitty Pride. Um, I feel like it's been a long time since they've called her Shadow Cat. I think now they just call her Kitty Pride. But I guess there's a way to give their alternate ego. I don't, Colossus is Pieter, Pietor, I can't remember. All right, so this is your main hero card. There's your alternate, oh, should I remember that, Rasputin, alternate identity. We'll set that way up here so you guys can see here. We'll go like this so you can see that it's Colossus. All right, I don't know why the game do that. So they make that your ally. So from my understanding, you can't use this card if you're playing with her because it's an ally. But here we go. It looks like he is aggression. He has aggression. Oh, he's got, it looks like he's got a couple in here. So he has aggression and he has protection. But you get Nightcrawler, pretty cool. Professor X. Oh, Shadow and Steel. I don't know enough about these two in X-Men to know. Oh, they've changed the cards. Energy, uh, Genius, and Strength. I don't know who that is. All right, his Obligation. This is his Nemesis. So let's just stop right here. So this is what his deck is consist consists of. This is um, Colossus's deck right here. We don't have many standard cards, right? We got some new art, which is kind of cool for the different, um, not energies, but the, I can't think, why can't I think right now? Resources you would use, right? And then you have, everyone has an obligation, or if you're Scarlet Witch, you have two. Then you have your net, so you have your obligation. We'll go ahead and set that like that so you guys can see how it's set up. This does not go in your deck. And then you have your nemesis, which is Juggernaut. We got... Rampaging Juggernaut, two Unstoppables, and Slammed. All right, and there's your Nemesis deck. All right. Then we have Old Kitty Pride. See, I told you guys this is going to do it. I remember as Kitty Pride much more than Shadow Cat, but someone could say Shadow Cat, and it would probably click as Kitty Pride. All right, there's her hero card. Then Kitty Pride is her alternate identity. Then we got her hero deck. I guess I should have done this with Colossus actually. So these would be, uh oh, there's Wolverine. That's what everybody's been waiting for. These would be her main hero cards because you can um, set up your own decks and there's certain Things that you have to use so these are all see these all say colossus down there sorry just doing a little reorganization here he's got a whole bunch of protection 
thought I said he had something else in here. No, it's all protection. Oh, I called Colossus' deck aggression. Sorry, guys. He's protection. Right? Then you have your standard cards. Right? And this makes up your hero deck right here. Then there's your ob obligation and there's that. All right. Back to this. There's Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride is aggression, which is interesting, I guess. Oh, magic's in here. Cool. Some heroes that would like to see their own decks to play as, but is that Psylocke? Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Aggression energy. Colossus, see? She can't use Colossus, but other people can. And then... Shadow Cat card. Oh, I went to obligations. All right. So here's her aggression. And then here's her standard cards. All right. Then here's her obligation. And then we have her nemesis is the White Queen, which currently is a good guy, actually. We have some Hellfire spawns. But in this, I guess they're setting her up as the White Queen in the Hellfire Club. That's fine. So kind of how it works if you guys don't know, I'm sure you guys do if you're watching it, but if I already use Colossus, I have to use these cards for sure. And I have to use these cards, his obligation and his nemesis. I can give him a different, I believe it's attribute. Like I can give him aggression if I wanted. And I can give him um, different standard cards. There's, a, there's rules to how to do it. So you could probably change characters up and stuff like that. But that's all on you. All right. So let's get these all stacked. This is just so we have more room on the board to show you guys kind of everything that comes in this set. There's Colossus. I almost called this one the White Queen. The White Queen, and I'm actually gonna do right now how I normally do this, is I like to put their obligation and their nemesis right underneath the hero card, just like that. So they're already all set up. All right, what do we want to go through here? Do we want to see the bad guys? Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and look at the bad guys next. Who do we have? Who are we going to fight against? i got to watch with this sharp knife so I don't score the cards up. All right. So we have Sabretooth, one, two, and three. We have his main schemes. Then we have his deck. That's interesting. There's a basic saber tooth. That'll be interesting to look into how that works. So here's saber tooth. Is a villain. I'll just start putting them like that. There's a villain deck. Um, it's Brotherhood. I wonder if this is the main deck you play with his. So you got avalanche and blob and probe and toad. Brotherhood. The Brotherhood cards. All right, and we have Mystique. Oh, she has Sentinels. Oh no, that's a whole different one. All right, I don't, they have this mixed up a little bit. Let's go ahead and set this here for now. You can fight Mystique, or can you not? No, she is one of the modular sets. Then we have the Sentinel. This is actually one of bad guys because they have their main scheme but this is called project wide awake it's they have like those campaign cards in here too very interesting so we go through this bam, bam, bam. all right so there's the sentinels let's go like this we got another one of these down here another modular set so zero tolerance which has a whole bunch of sentinels We'll go ahead and set that down right here. All right, let's go ahead and I guess look what's in this one. We one of these days I am going to score the card, especially with me slipping loose like that. All right, I oh, forgot the air conditioner and honestly just didn't think it would kick back on so quick, but it did. So I apologize for that. But here we go, M tight Sentinels. This is for Magneto. So we know we got Magneto in here somewhere. Nice, the Jim Lee Magneto from the cover. Magneto, where are you, Magneto? All right. Let's 
go ahead and set Magneto down right there, though I know we have to readjust it. Starting at card 10 is the Acolytes. This is the Acolytes. This goes down here, another one of the modular sets. There's Nimrod, so futures, future past. Nimrod, future past. Um, there's the end of the future past. Yep, five of them. There's another modular set. Then you have campaign cards. So these kind of sprinkled in throughout the campaign. You kind of want to keep these separate. So we'll go ahead and set the campaign cards down here. Then we have Brawler. I don't know what this is. It's an upgrade Brawler. Oh, interesting. Do they have... Let's move this out of the way. Do they have a handful of different... Um, what should I call it? Extra basic cards. Here's Commander. Oh, I think they do. They've changed it up. Here's Defender. I'm getting the name from down here. Oh, went to Peacekeeper, so there's Defender. And then Peacekeeper. All right, interesting. We still got one more pack of cards to kind of slide through, so let's see what we got in here. All right, what do we have here? Zero tolerance number seven. Do we have zero tolerance up here? No, oh, zero tolerance right here. Sorry, shaking the camera. So this card goes six, seven, there's zero tolerance. All right, then we have the Sentinels. I guess they do this to fit all the cards in, so there's all the Sentinels. How far this way can we go and still be in camera? No. Well, We'll put them over here. Put them over here. All right. Master Mold. I know this is one of the um, masterminds. Well, it says villain right there, so that can tell me right there. There's his main schemes. His Master Mold. This goes a little too deep for my X-Men knowledge. I'm assuming he makes the Sentinels. All right. Is that the end of Master Mold? That's the end of Master Mold. So there are four of our guys. I think there's four villains in all this. There is Avalanche. Do we have Avalanches right there too? Hmm. All right, here's Avalanche, Blob. Oh, Mansion Attack. Avalanche, Blob, Pyro, Toad. So this is another like mastermind setup. This is Mansion Attack. I'm sorry, I was going through those really quick. I'm just interested in seeing what's in there. You guys want to see though, huh? Let me see if I can get in the camera. Sorry, I'm leaning way over to get this in the camera. All right, we'll put those right there. And then we have the, the rest of Magneto. So here's Magneto. Oh, he's got three main schemes, very interesting. M-type Sentinel. Is that a Magneto-type Sentinel? All right, well, with that said, that is everything that comes in the Marvel Champions Mutant Genesis expansion. All right. Sorry for not having deep knowledge of all X-Men stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Steven with Cardboard Coalition. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.